Welcome back, everybody, for another Stefan Dushan. So, last time we had an encounter in the dark, and man, was that, uh, was that the toughie. But now we have an attack on Macedonia. After the conclusion of the pact with Bulgaria, His Majesty Stefan turned his uh, attention to the south and east of the Kingdom of Serbia. Uh, from Dorakium, Orhid, and Thessaloniki, territories along the way remained in the hands of the Latin rulers, Albanian chieftains, and Byzantine emperors. This led to the fact that when he attacked the Byzantine Empire, the security of the army's flanks would be seriously threatened. Only by controlling the Macedonian plain could His Majesty achieve the ultimate goal of marching into Constantinople. Soon he had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. A Roman general named Sergianus was falsely accused of treason during a political struggle. So he managed to escape and took refuge with Stefan Dushan. Hatred, he offered uh, His Majesty Stefan a request and a plan to attack the Byzantine Empire. His, Ma His Majesty Stefan would naturally not miss such an opportunity, so he launched an attack on the Byzantine Empire in two directions. Part of the Serbian army, army led by His Majesty himself, marched towards Orhid and Strumica. Another part, led by Syrianus himself, marched towards Albania. The Romans at this time knew nothing of the impending crisis. They would soon pay for it. Dun dun dun. Are those ninjas? What? I heard what happened uh, to you in the Eastern Roman Empire, Sir Genus Palaeagos. To be honest, you can't bet on both ends and make profit at the same time. What can you do for me so late today? Your Majesty Dushan, you're right. Neither Andronikos III nor his stubborn grandfather treats me like a pawn or something. I'm desperate now. I'm able to achieve my ambitions in the Eastern Roman Empire, so strong force or something. Uh, I heard that you're very familiar with the Macedonia region, so let's see how you're going to help me do things. Uh, yeah, and do uh, send in the assassins. Oh boy. Send the assassins to the halberdiers guarding the gates to kill them. Go get them, my ninjas! Our assassins are concealed in these trade carts. Once the carts reach the Persian Shah, the assassins will strike. Without their leader, the Persians will fall like grass beneath our hooves. Ugh. Killed by us. Now go back to your majesty and send someone over the city wall. Oh. Okay. Still can't click on these guys, so. I'm not too sure which hero's which, but I don't think it matters. We've taken out the doorman, but the gate is locked and we have to climb over the wall again. Well, why don't you just go do that? As assassins, you can't even pry change. <laughs> oh no! Hold your horses, Sir Giannis. I have two siege towers here. Just send some people over them. Help. A big help. Yeah, send some of the Cheechel. Oh my god. The goober man. What a goober. Okay, well, I guess we'll send him over. Send a soldier to each to the castle. Oh, do I only need two? Well, we have like 20. Well, hopefully this works out all right. We can enter the town. What's going on here? The enemy slipped in our gate. Hurry, retake the castle or we're doomed. Well, William Wallace, the garrison general, Oh no! Get out of here, Siege Tower! Run away! This is a great fight, by the way. Oh, at least these heavy scorpions will help us out. Oh, okay. Stop fighting. Things went more smoothly than I thought, Sergianus Palaiod 
Jonas, thank you for the intel. Seems not too long before I reign in Constantinople. I'll be the first Serbian monarch to set foot in Constantinople. Get off, please. Your Majesty, the Almanic Guard will always protect you and stuff. Take Thrace and Constantinople. We're just going to get rid of you now. Okie dokie. Destroy three of Orhid's castles to capture the city. Destroy Prilep's town center to help Sergianus Pelagogos take the city. Destroy the Resin fortress to capture Resin. Destroy the castle in Batola. Your allies' the castles must not be destroyed blue and red. And kill Sfrantz's Palaiologos. Um, okay, we already did that. Get into the interior of Macedonia. Need to break through Orhid. Um, okay. There is no river between Lake Orid and Lake Prespa. Need to build a new dock. Okay. Both of your allies start without town centers and villagers unless you capture Prilip and Resin in the middle of the map in succession. Then they can get villagers for development. If the castles are destroyed, you will fail. Utilize unique units to be effective against cataphracts and centurions. Uh, we're attacking Macedonia. Um... Uh, Okay, that's our ally. And then I think these are also our ally. There is Orhid that we have to attack. This is our enemy. Prilep's hanging around here. That's also our enemy, and then there are villages. Okay. Wait, a relic cart? What's this for? Oh, whoa, we're on a lake. Boatman. Na 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 Boatman! Oh, we're getting some cataphracts. Okay, I guess we'll do some fishing. Okay, so here's Orhid. That's another place we need to destroy, and I guess that's another place we need to destroy. But I think it's suggested that we focus on Orhid first. Righty. Uh, we can get to Imperial Age. I wonder if we can just make cannon galleons. I see the enemy! Fire! Foyer, foyer! Oh, that's not going well. Oh, they have siege onagers. Byzantines don't have siege onager. These are cheaters. Oh, there goes Stefan. Okay, there's red. I wonder what that relic cart's for, though. Anyway, it honestly seems like it might be easier to just uh, go with a bit of a naval approach. Uh, then again, that's the Byzantine Navy, and I have the Slavs Navy. And that's not ideal. Okay. 
Мне Аска то охотник. Аск делай драться рук. Охотник, да? Да. Охотник. Да. Да, здравствуй. Выжди, выжди. Oh, oh, that's our ally. Yeah, the Byzantine Navy equal good. Slav Navy equal not good. Okay, let's get some of those guys going. I still can't forget the woman whom I love. Rip. Oh, I never got both, saw. Whoops. So many idols. I mean, these guys are an imperial age. Oh, here's blue. Still not entirely sure how I want to go about this. Like, there really isn't much room over here, so I feel like going for a navy would make a lot of sense. But I don't know how, you know, irrevocably stupid that is. Get gold shaft mining. Uh, okay, just gotta keep up the bill production. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's right, they have a different hotkey. Um, well, I'm working towards him. Now, Slavs have fast fire ship. Which is something, I guess. So maybe I can rely on those with some non-elite cannon galleons. And then we do have dry dock as well. But there seems to be so much to attack from the shoreline over here. Oh, we can also make our uh, not coustier. Oh yeah. That tech is gonna be handy. All right, let's go, 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 Slav Navy. Maybe we're Serbs can randomly get a lead cannon galleon? No. I mean, our ally's already kind of pushing on land. Askatova. Askatova.
And this should clear out a large portion of their infrastructure. Hopefully. Uh, we'll still make some Vlastellas. No, no, no. No, no, no. And those are still Byzantine buildings, which is annoying, but what can you do? We can get several of these castles and whatnot from the uh, the water, which is kind of what I was looking for. Get some halves going. Oh, I almost have fire ships. That's awkward. What the heck is that? It's a junk! Why do we have junks in southeastern Europe? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we can get two of the three castles from the shoreline. So that is going to be very useful. Get you guys, just get all the upgrades. Uh, I think I need to get that keep first before I take down the castle. Oh yeah, Red's coming in with his elite Teutonic Knights. Or regular Teutonic Knights. Same thing. Get those other cavalry guys. guys. Now something we need to keep an eye out for is gold. I don't think we have a whole lot of it. You know, for a campaign scenario. We'd have enough to last us quite a while in the multiplayer game. Handy. Then I guess we work our way over here. And some village, um, consider hiring some people. Hire Konix for 1,500 gold. Where? Oh, here. Well, I don't have 1,500 gold, but we'll, we'll think about it. Sounds good. Just have you guys focus on the castles. Our halves have plus eight attack, which is really nice. Let's see the eastern side of this lake. I think we get control of the city once, uh... Ooh, we got Elite Vlastella with Chinese characters. Okay. 
Да. Воу, there, man. Come on. Come on. This should be enough. Yes. <laughs> Give me the town. Uh, yeah. Why are the serves so powerful? It's impossible. Well, you know what they say. If it's popsicle, it's possible. Hey yo. Um I destroyed that fortress, right? In Resin. Oh, I, I see a trade cog over here, so maybe there's a gray dock that I can trade with? That would actually be pretty helpful. That's a bombard tower. Whatever. Oh, it's a missionary. Oh yeah, the Konex. Those would be helpful. I mean, there's Slav Konex, so... Okay, it's 15 Konex for 1,500 gold. I guess that's technically value. I mean, it's not, like, amazing value, but it's it's good enough. Okay, well, we got Orid. That Orid Orid. I think the Junks actually act like Trade Cogs. Yeah, I mean, they said there wasn't a, a river connecting the the different lakes. Oh, there's Svrantas. Go, my Konix! Uh, okay, green's also not our friend. How's blue doing? They're not dead, right? Not dead. Good enough for me. Yeah, but going for the naval route, I think, was really smart. Well, as smart as any Ordlu decision can be. Anyway. Hand over your money? No. Like, yeah, but also no? Do I look like a chump? Don't answer that. Don't tell me the truth. I mean, it's not like it's amazing. Anyway, how much gold do we get for trip? 59. Good enough. Yeah, these guys just get an extra 5 attack with a charge that's on like a 10 second cooldown. I actually think that is more balanced. These Vestellos would be super OP in multiplayer though. <laughs> 
If the mounted Obooks with like paladin stats. Let's work on that fortress, the Resin Fortress. Then we'll go up here to Prilip. We'll just conquer these towns one by one. Trees. Gimme, gimme. Oh, awesome. It goes over to red. This, I'm flattered. Oh, Majesty Senpai, notice me. That's that guy. You know, he lost the love of his life, but uh, I think he just found another one. It's the story they don't want, the history books don't want to tell you is about the, uh, the romance between Palmen and Dushan. Oh yeah, now they just have a town center. Go for our Zhupan! And losing all of our siege units! Oh, I'm really good at that. It's a talent of mine, actually. I don't like to boast about it too much, because, you know, then, then I just seem uh, ridiculous, but I am pretty good at it. Oh, here's the other lake they were talking about. Um, hey there, homie. You wanna not? Like, I get what you're doing, I get what you're going for, but could you not? Well, I hope they get another town center, because they just lost that one. But they have some villagers left or something. Yes, Red has a villager. Build another TC! If I can use hotkeys correctly. It's always a struggle. Okay, let's see if I can get Prilep. Kill them! I really hope you didn't lose all your bills, Red. Right, Red? You didn't lose literally everybody, right? I think they did. Oh, boy. Wait, no, no, they were rebuilding the TC, but they were rebuilding it in the worst possible location. This guy's a moron. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't even save you from that.
Anyway, I'll just snipe the town center. Okay, so here's Purple's base over here in the east. <gasps> Wait, they have another villager! Go, Red, go! Wait, what? I thought I would win that fight easily. Brick lasagna. You have a TC up. Congratulations. Unsolicited prey? Pray tell. Macedonian mountain folk. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite of all AoE2 units. The Macedonian mountain folk. Okay. Let's get some actual production going on over here. Please don't attack me. Okay, go for the frickin' TC. No. 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 Ugh. That's kind of awkward. Okay. Wait, they don't have... Somehow they have either chain or scale barding armor and plate barding armor, but not the, either the feudal or the castle age upgrade. They only have one of the two. That is not possible <laughs> in normal game settings. Okay, are my bills showing up here anytime soon? Didn't I send a bunch of bills over? I don't even know, man. Anyway, Red's got a TC. That's all we care about. You go, Red. You also should just get, like, a TC over here so I can replenish those vill losses. Okay. 
готова. Ас готова. Okay, talk to you guys. Hand over the money. Well, these guys are going to get this build eventually. Oh, don't tell me you idiots are stuck. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, got more dudes on the way. Sir Giannis is helping us out a bit. Okay, that TC's already halfway dead. Tell me I lost my trebs. Oh my god. How do these guys keep taking such good fights, man? No, Red, you're one TC that was built in enemy territory. I don't know why green is being such a pain. I mean, their score is ridiculously high, but I assume that's just because they have infinite resources. No, oh, red! I hope they got a villager out. Make a beeline for the freaking town center. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Let's go, boys and grills. Uh, I guess you can mine some stone over there. Are you guys stuck too? Wait, you aren't. You seem to be. Oh my god, this is such a huge army!
Please tell me we're winning this. I mean, we got all the production reinforcements we need, but, uh... No. Hopefully their production isn't quite as good as our production. Oh my god, why are you just hanging around? Well, we've almost busted into their base. Why do I feel like purple's gonna have a really good KD? What with us trying to break into this super well fortified Byzantines area? Good old 13 9 armor. Anyway, we just need to, uh. Oh, we need to destroy the castle as well. Wait, that's almost 9,000 HP! Okay, we have a bit more room over here. Okay, things are actually progressing a bit better than I thought they would. Fire towers, really? Did they really need fire towers? If we take a, a long, hard look at ourselves and we ask, do we need fire towers right here? I feel like the answer is no. Uh, Trebs, where are you going? In case you guys didn't know, fire towers shred rams, which makes it a little bit annoying. Yeah, look, we'll look at them go. I guess they don't like shred shred rams, but they they do them dirty. I mean, this just seems like a classic infinite unit spam situation. Oh my god, of course they have another layer of walls. Of course, of course, of course. Forward castle. I guess I should... Rehotkey these guys to only include those four castles. And this one. Okay, we're almost there. actually not okay for a second I thought our production like we didn't have like 20 different production facilities going which we should have we should have like around 25 ish going so we should be getting that yellow flash as long as we're at 175 pop or so okay there goes purple oh did I lose my traps oh that's awkward Anyway, I think we should be fine. Oh, wait, we didn't kill Orange. Oh, I think that was him. Sir Johnus, you traitor, just wait and see. I will definitely kill you. No, no, you... 
You are already dead. Oh my wamo shinderu. Anyway, despite having slightly more HP than a regular Byzantine castle, we should be good to go. Oh, they had a relic. And it was kind of cool to have, like, the, the different types of fights. Like, we had the naval one, kind of, on the shoreline, and then we had to, like, push these little mountain villages, and then we had to go to over here at the end. Build a church and establish our dominance. It seems like the day of the Eastern Roman Empire has come and gone, and we will soon usher in victory. Oh, you tell us, uh, Jovan Oliver. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? That was literal? Oh, and we have the Bulgarian wonder. I guess it's our architecture set is Bulgarian. Okay, this feels kind of pointless, not gonna lie. I think this was part of Leloy back in HD, where like you had to like win the scenario and then build a wonder. Like, th there isn't anyone left. Like, all of our enemies have resigned. Okay. Uh, city belongs to Serbia. Yeah, new prosperity and stuff. Long live Serbia. As long as I fall Serbia, it's not a dream to dominate the Balkans, of course. I can also go back to Constantinople. Now my first step has been taken, and soon all of Macedonia, Thrace, and even Constantinople will be under Serbian control. Your majesty, a disaster is imminent. The Hungarians are attacking us, and we have now lost quite a few towns. What? Damn Hungarian. Dare to disrupt the situation at this time. Charles Robert, wait for me. I'll go north and clean you up right away. Uh-oh. What a tragic defeat. The Serbs took both Orid and Strumica without breaking a sweat. Uh, the Sirjanis occupied Koster and some other strongholds on the eastern frontier of Albania. The victorious Serbian army even approached the city of Thessaloniki. The governor of the city was so terrified that he was even ready to surrender. But at this time, Emperor Andronikos III sent a general named Sfrante, Frances, who gained the trust of Stefan Dushan as a Byzantine defector, uh, was sent under Sergianus. But soon, Sfrantes planned to ambush and kill Sergianus and fled to the city of Thessaloniki. The Greek crowd under Sergianus was headless and could only flee helter-skelter. Without this capable go-getter, uh, His Majesty Stefan realized that he could not conquer Thessaloniki. So on August 26, His Majesty Stefan and Emperor Andri Andronikos III reached a peace agreement. Under the agreement, Serbia must return certain territories, but still retain Orid and Strumica. Uh, the military operation allowed Serbia to obtain a large area of Macedonia, which can still be regarded as worthy enough. What a pity, I sighed and continued. It is said that the mastermind of the swindle was the cunning John Kantakozonos, Emperor Andronika's deputy at the time. Indeed so, the old man said with a half smile, his face thoughtful. Uh-oh. Yeah, I did not have a positive KD. Purple had a great KD. Kind of to be expected. Yeah, but that was fun. You got her done. Two different little lake areas. Green was the tough one. I, I, like, I thought it would just be super easy to snipe the, the town center, but no. Having the trade cogs here were helpful as well, for sure. I guess we could maybe trade over here. Sergeant Lumberjack. Coolio. Anyway, guys, that is going to be uh, Attack on Macedonia, and I'll see you guys next time for... Shumadia's counterattack. Bye-bye.